Recently, I was made aware of something called Pokemon Auto Chess. The game looked visually very cool. Just like Pokerogue, you can hop on Google and there it is. I created my account and instantly hopped into my first game. Eight players join a lobby together and you go throughout the levels, earning money and fighting against AI and real opponents from your lobby. This game throws out the normal type chart and uses something called Synergy. Each Pokemon has multiple types, and different Pokemon that share the same type give each other something called a Synergy Boost. There are different levels to these boosts, meaning the more Pokemon you have that share these types, the better their Synergy and the better their buffs. Now me, I didn't know any of this heading into my first game, so I queued in knowing absolutely nothing. The queue did take about 5 minutes, so I took a quick Britney Spears break before finally loading in. Tell me how you want it to be. No. Oh, pretty baby. Oh, I need to know now no, because my loneliness Perfectly is killing cooked. me. And I, I must confess, I still believe, still believe. When I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Give me a sign. Hit me, baby, one more time. You start with $6 to buy Pokemon. You can see on the left is a rarity indicator, and the higher the rarity, the higher the price. On the right is an XP bar. Instead of using your money on Pokemon, you can purchase XP, which upon leveling up allows you to send more Pokemon out into the field to fight for you. I started and bought a Geodude and two Fennekins. After each stage, the Pokemon you can buy reroll for free, instead of you having to pay. I bought a Cyndaquil, and didn't understand why I couldn't put it or my second Fennekin into the field, and I accidentally sold it. The first three stages are against wild Pokemon, and this is to help you build your team and have at least a little synergy before you start battling against real opponents. You can see in these early fights, I understand that I want my Pokemon to have the same type, but didn't know how important that synergy would actually be. I also ignored my held items, which are crucial to win in this game. Every held item combines with another held item, and these items combine into one stat boosting item. As I lost these fights and watched my team stray further and further away from Synergy, I also ignored these items and ended up coming in last place, losing some elo. After this embarrassing loss, I watched Zwigo's video about auto chess and felt prepared to run it back. Before we hop into run 2, please subscribe. I know all YouTubers say this, but it really helps me, because my sense of worth is directly tied to how high that number is. Also, I'm writing this script on my birthday, so you better subscribe. I started my second run and bought two Weedles, instantly setting me up for a bug poison team. I easily took care of the first few battles, going into the real fight with two Kakunas, Zubat, Nidoran, and Caterpie. I should also mention how evolving works in this game. If I own two Weedles and the third one pops up in the buy menu, it shows me an indicator that says if I buy that third Weedle, they will all combine into one Kakuna. If I own two Kakunas and the third one shows up in the buy menu, they combine into one Beedrill. I usually won my first real fight against Colin, his Igglybuff, Golbat, and Piplup setting zero chance. I bought a Bellsprout between rounds, outing it to my team and creating a stronger poison synergy. Gren was the next opponent, but his Buggrass team was beaten easily. Before stage 6, I bought a Bulbasaur and beat Armus easily. Something I didn't understand was how the max revive worked. I thought I used it once during a battle to revive one Pokemon. What I didn't know is that it could be reused every round and just caused one of my Pokemon to have two lives per fight. This info would have been much appreciated later on. Armus went down and I swapped Bellsprout for Bulbasaur. I faced off against Pro Shaman and got humbled, demoting me down to fourth place. I added Venonat to my team and easily came back against Mewtwo, beating them and moving into second place. At this point, I had great poison synergy, but my other synergies were lacking. Having multiple synergies is important, and I wasn't doing enough to bring my synergies up. I also should have been upgrading my Pokemon, because at this point in the game, the 4th tier Pokemon had been unlocked and the tier 1 Pokemon were slowly becoming more and more rare. I should have phased out my Kakunas and Nidorans and switched them for better, rarer Pokemon like Jolteon. At 410, we were offered a location change, and I chose to go to the area with... I'm not sure. Pack, Pokemon Auto Chest, probably wasn't expecting to be as popular as they were, and their servers were just not equipped for this heavy traffic. The game was extremely laggy, and it made things like this much more difficult. After getting into this new area, I was offered a selection of Trump Guards, special mods that I could use one of. I chose Shuckle to strengthen my bug synergy, and went to battle with Zubat, Kakuna, Bulbasaur, Shuckle, Eater on Female, and Venomoth. I went to war with Leandro, keeping my second place spot for now. Between rounds, Nidoran left and Trubbish joined, strengthening my poison repertoire. 
I defeated Friendly Buzzard and Snatch and Mystic Water in those laggy real-time events. I defeated Colin and Gren again, heading into Route 14. Round 14 is a boss fight, but this is definitely a lowercase boss fight. These fights are laughably easy. Something I should have mentioned before is that at 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 coins, the amount of coins you get per round increases. This encourages saving and staying above a certain number of coins to maximize the amount of profits you can gain from the money bonuses. Skipping to the end of round 14 against Arnis, I barely lost to his pillow swine. This fight started the beginning of the end. I lost fight after fight, falling lower and lower on the leaderboard until I placed fifth. Pokemon Auto Chess is addicting, but you may want to check it out soon before the servers become too overworked. Subscribe for more Pokemon videos.